So this video is on decimal places and significant figures. So I suggest you do the Kahoot quiz following the link below before you play this video. So 10 questions on decimal places and significant figures. So question one, round 53,286 to one significant figure. Now with one significant figure, you're only allowed to have one digit in your answer which is not a zero. Your zeros are free. You can have as many zeros as you like. So 53,286, our significant figure is going to be the five to start with. Now this isn't going to get rounded up to a six because the next digit is not five or above. So our first digit, our only digit, which is not a zero, will be a five. Now we need a, a number of zeros to get this five into the appropriate um, 50,000 columns, so we're going to have to put them four zeros, so our answer is going to be 50,000 down here. Um, so it, it's, it's nearly right. You know, 53,286 at a football match, that's roughly 50,000. So one digit, which is not a naught, and obviously the number is closer to 53,000 uh, 50, than 60,000. So gold is the answer. Question two. So 56,359 to one significant figure. Well, the same idea, only allowed one digit, the first digit, um, which is not a zero. Will it be a five? No, it won't. It's going to round up to a six because the second digit is five or above. So we're going to have a six here. Now, to make it 60,000, we need to pop in four zeros. So our answer is going to be the green answer because this here is closer to six, uh, 60,000 than it is to 50,000. So the answer is green. Question three, round 54.649 to one decimal place. So we're allowed one number after the decimal point. Now, are we gonna stick with the six or are we gonna round it up? Well, the next digit is not a five or above, so we're gonna stick with the six so our final answer is 54.6, which is green. Question four, round 54.4639 to one decimal place. So one decimal place, one number after the decimal point, the four. Are we gonna stick with a four or go up to five? So you either stick or go up one. Well, we will go up one because the next digit is five or above. So not 54.4, it's going to be 54.5, so our answer is gold. Question 5, 38.4539 to two decimal places. So we now have to put in two numbers after the decimal point, the 4 and the 5. Now the 4 will, will stick, unless this 5 was a 9, which could possibly make it go bigger. But the 4 stays where it is. We're focusing on the 5. Now, do we have to round up the, sec the second decimal point number? No, we don't, because the next number is not 5 or above. So we're going to stick with the 4 and 5. So our final answer is 38.45, the blue answer. So question six, round 46.3852 to two decimal places. So two numbers after the decimal point, the three and then the eight. Now are we gonna stick with the eight? No, we're not, because the next number is five or above. So the eight's gonna go up one to nine. So our final answer is gonna be 46.39, which is the green answer. Question seven, round 18.96 to one decimal place. So we're allowed one number after the decimal point, which is the nine. Will the nine round up? We look at the next number. Yes, it will, So because that's five or above. So the nine has to round up, but obviously that's gonna have a knock-on effect. So rather than, you can't have 18.10, so basically the nine is gonna, as it becomes a 10, it's gonna force the eight to become a nine. So our final answer is going to be 19. Now, because it's one decimal place, we must put in one number after the decimal point. So 19 is not a final answer. 19.0 is what we need to write down. Question 
Question 8, round 0 0.0039 to one significant figure. We're allowed to have one digit, which is not a zero. So go to your first non-zero number, which is a three. Will this three stick as a three or round up to a four? We look at the next digit. The next digit is five or above, so it's going to round it up. So our final answer is not 0 0.003, but 0 0.004. So again, we're following the rule, one significant figure, one number which is not a zero. So our answer is the blue answer. Question nine, round 6.958 to one decimal place. So one number after the decimal point. So do we stick with a nine or round up? Well, we round up because the next one is five or above. But again, this has a knock-on effect. The 6.9 has to become a 7.0. And we must remember to pop in the zero. So it's the green answer. And finally, question 10. Round 53.0092 to two decimal places. So two numbers after the decimal point, the zero and one more. Now, do we stick with the zero? No, we don't, because the next number is five or above. So this zero becomes a one. So our final answer is 53.01. So two numbers after the decimal point. So that's our red answer.